Hello. Welcome to the show Creations in Clay. And my name is uh, Louis Palladini. And uh, tonight what I'd like to do is show you how to do another one of the big cats, one of my favorites. It's I want to show you how to do a lion. And I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. You know, the, uh, what I love about a lion, they have that nice mane, you know. And, you know, the, very similar to the tiger, but, and I'll just kind of rotate that a little bit so you can see it. And, uh, you know, the various colors, and it's got the nice browns in there, and, you know, I like to make the nice yellow eyes with the black. And, and, but I think it'll be a very interesting project to do tonight. I'll show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this. This is the one that I used to love using when I was a kid. It's, uh, you can use it again and again. It never hardens. And uh, once you get tired of something, you just make them up a new animal or you can try to make a person. There's all kinds of things you can make with this. Another type of clay that you can use is a clay, uh, an air hardening clay such as this, which can be bought in the art store. And it usually hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. And it's a very good clay to use that you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. It's a clay that it never hardens unless you fire it in the oven. So it, you bake it for about 15 or 20 minutes, 275 degrees, and it becomes hard. Then you can drill it, sand it. You can make a tremendous amount of detail with this clay. And it, it's very good for making the types of sculptures that I'm making tonight. The size clay balls that we'll be using tonight this, I, I want to start off with a couple because I figure we'll use the additive technique tonight. This is the size ball that we'll use for the head. And then this size ball here we'll use for the snout. And then what I'm going to do when we make the ears and then we make the mane, I'll show you how we'll just kind of add clay. So what I want to do is just make sure that this is nice and round. A good way is just take this between your hand like this and just kind of roll it like this. And that way you get a nice round shape. So the next step in the process is that I'm going to pick this up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to try to shape this a little bit into the shape of the nose. I'll show you the lion again. This right here, what we're going to try to do is make the nose right here, this piece right here. And we'll try to shape that. And as we proceed to make it, I'll add clay. You see how the snout like comes out down towards the ends here? It's narrow up through here but then it gets uh, wider through these areas here. And then what we'll eventually do is we're going to add a lower jaw, and we'll just, we'll just add that piece, but I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The first thing we're going to do is kind of take this now and kind of just shape it like this, just a little bit like that. And we're going to now, I'm going to take this ball of clay here, and we're going to take and just kind of push it up against the the head like that. And I just want to kind of look at that. And now what I do like to do is just kind of work that with my fingers and kind of just attach it like this. Just like that. And go around just like that. And do that. And I, what I'll do is we'll use this as a model. I want to kind of look back at this and kind of see what I hid down there. So it's at approximately the right location. So what we're going to proceed to do is I'm going to look at that now. And what I think I might do is just take part of the, a piece off down here. Just kind of push that down like that. And we can take that away. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take this like this. And see this here? We can kind of like make an indentation for the jaw. That's the upper jaw. Just kind of push. Like would you see I'm pushing it with my finger like that? We can do that. And I'm going to look at that now and, and kind of just see where it's at. We can take and add some clay up here. Just going to see I'm just adding that clay. Just like that. Just do that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to see that we can add some clay. I do have some extra clay here. And we're going to take some clay off this block here. Just some little pieces and we're going to add them. So what I'm going to do is kind of 
take these, roll this on my finger like this, let's see this little piece of clay, and we'll just kind of add it to the side like this, like that. We'll add, we'll do that. And we're going to do the same for the other side. We're going to take this, just kind of roll it to make it soft. And then we're going to attach it to this side. Just like that. See how I just added that piece there? That way, just kind of do that. Just kind of add it. And then what I want to do too is kind of pinch it down here. And I just want to kind of see that I'm putting that in the right spot. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to look at that now, and I'm going to try to make the nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of clay off about this size here. I'm just going to show you, see that in my heat? That little, little piece of clay? And we're going to make a nose. So what I'm going to do is kind of take it and kind of flatten it out and almost kind of, I'll show you the shape that I'm making. So this is kind of the shape that you want, just like that. What I'll do is put that on my hand. It might be easier to see if I do that. So the shape that you want, see that shape there? I'll just kind of hold that up. But what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put that in the front of the lions on the snout, just like that. See, I just kind of place that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece and I'm going to take, we're almost going to make like a T. So I'm going to take another little piece of clay. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to roll it like that. See that piece of clay there? I know it's tiny. But we're going to take and put that in front of the snout just like this. I want to make sure I have it going right. Just like that. See, just put that right in front like that. Just like that. I just want to kind of work that together like that. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is... I don't have a toothpick here, but I have a, uh, my little trusty sculpting tool, but you can do this with a toothpick. What you want to do is take and kind of take and, and kind of go like this to make the indentations for the nostrils. See what I'm doing there? Just kind of take that and kind of push in like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that little indentation on that side too. And then what you, we want to do also is kind of make like a little indentation right here. See this? Right there we're going to take and make, kind of make that little indentation there, like a little line. So I'm just going to take and just kind of work that like that. And we'll just keep, we'll just keep adding some clay. I want to make that a little wider right there. Just add a little piece of clay. Just do that, and then we're going to do that to the uh, add to the other side, just like that. So I'm just going to add in the clay. So as you can see, the snout it's narrower in through here, but then you do kind of build it out along here. Can you can you kind of see how that that's getting wider? And you just play with it, and then you can keep adding until you think it's at the right spot. What I'm going to proceed to do now is I want to take and see if I can make a lower jaw. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to get this clay here and I'm taking another piece of clay off approximately this size to start. You can see that. And we're going to try to make the lower jaw. So what you do is you kind of flatten this out. See I'm taking my fingers and flattening it, flattening it out. And then I'm going to try to square, square it off like this, just like that. See how that there, I'm kind of squaring it off. 
and I'll check to see the size. It might not be the right size. It might have to be a little, little bigger. Yep, looks like we need to add to it. So what I'll do is I'll proceed to get more clay here, off the clay piece here, and I'm just going to roll this into a ball again because it, it, it's not the right size. So, And just kind of roll it into your fingers like that. We're going to add a little more clay. I'm going to take this clay right here and add it just a little bit more to make that lower jaw. Roll it in my fingers or hands. See that? And then I'm going to take and I'm going to try to make that the jaw now. So I'm going to flatten this out. Kind of square that off a little bit. Just kind of flatten it like that. And I want see that out with how that looks? That's what the jaw is going to look like the inside. That's what it looked like from the front. So it just gives you a rough idea what it should look like. So we're going to proceed to, I want to see if this is going to fit now. So what I'm going to do is look and see, that looks like it's approximately the right size. So what I want to do now on this sculpture here is I want to make a tongue and I want to make some teeth. So I'm going to take another piece of clay, as we've done this in the past, and just take and kind of roll it between your fingers like this. And we're going to make a nice tongue. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to, see how I'm lengthening this out? Now I want to make it flat, just like that. And then I'm going to proceed to see if that's the right size. So that's, that's what the tongue will look like from the top, and that's what it will look like from the side. And what I also want to do is to make it look more realistic, is I'll take the tool, you're going to use your toothpick in this case, and just kind of make the line like this. Just kind of go down and make a line, just like that. And do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to take these two pieces, I'm going to lay this on top, just like this. And I just kind of squeeze it into the, to the, uh, you gotta mold, mold those two pieces together. So now that's what it will look like from the front. So what I'm going to proceed to do now is make some teeth. So I'm going to take some little balls of clay here to the additive technique. Very tiny ball like that. You can see how you can just just make that uh, that little piece there. We're going to make two of those. And we're going to make two teeth, so I'm going to proceed to make another ball that size. And I want to make sure, so what I'm going to do is take this, and you kind of just take and twirl it back and forth like this. And that may, it may, think of like an ice cream cone. That's what you're trying to do, make that ice cream cone shape. See that, ni that nice little tooth? I just kind of make that ice cream cone shape. And then we're going to proceed to take, and I'm going to put this, tooth now and place it in the lower jaw. So I'm going to take my sculpting tool, which you'll use a toothpick, and just kind of work that into the jaw. Just like that, kind of push it in. See, I'm just kind of working that in like that. And we're going to proceed to do another, another tooth on the other side. And we're going to make that ice cream cone shape. So roll that just like this. And I'll show you. You want to make that nice cone shape just like that, and we're going to take, and I'm going to place that in the mouth like I did the other one. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to push that down. I want to make sure they're roughly the same height. So just take the tool, and just kind of work it in like that. Push it in, and make sure they're approximately the same size. So see that now? You do that. See it's nice with the, the little line on the, the tongue. And what we're going to proceed to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to place this in the lower part of the jaw here, just like that, and we're going to push it in. So I'm going to take and just work that in, just like that. So you take and kind of squeeze it in from this side, push it, and then you're going to push it from the bottom just like that. And then over here, 
we're going to do the exact same thing. See, I just kind of work that in. So now, you really can start to see this take shape. See that you, know, you see the snout now, and then from the side how that looks. And we're just going to work that in a little bit more. And you know, it's a very interesting way of doing it. We, what I like to do too is we, I'm going to take some more clay here, and we'll and we'll build up the nose a little more here. I'll add clay there. And this is, it's a very good technique because with the additive technique, let's say you're looking at a picture of a lion. You can, you can look at it and say, okay, I need to add more clay here, more clay in the, diff in the different areas of, of the sculpture. And you can just keep referring back to a picture. But in my case, I'm going to refer back to the sculpture that I made last night. So I'm going to look at that and say, okay, do they look similar? And they appear to. So we'll continue to proceed to make the eyes what I will do here is you can get sculpting tools in this type of package in any art store like this and you can um, use these and they have little sculpting tools in there and I'll show you what they look like. These here, I have a couple of little sculpting tools right here and we can use, you can use either one. See this one has a nice triangular point and this has got another triangular point. So what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to look at the sculpture here, the face of the lion. I'm just going to look at that, make sure it's all right. And I'm just going to look at the, look right at the lion. So what I'm going to do is take and try to make an eye right here. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to, see I'm putting that tool in there, and I'm just going to kind of carve that out a little bit. See that? That's pretty cool, huh? We're going to keep that clay because we're going to put it back into the eye in a minute. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and carve out on the other side. You know, try to do it in approximately the same location. You know, it might be a little off, but this is, this is just a really cool way to make an eye. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at my lion and see if I have them approximately the right location, which they appear to be. The next step in the process is I'll take the clay that I had taken out, these little pieces here, and we're gonna, I'm going to put this down, and we're going to work this back into the eye. So what I'm going to do is just take and make a size, a ball of clay like this, a little tiny ball, and we're going to place that back in the eye like this. So see, I'm, pu I'm pushing that back into the eye here. And what we're going to do is take our sculpting tool now, we're going to kind of push that back just like that. See how I'm kind of pushing that in? I want to just push that back into the eye. Just like that. I'm going to push that in just like that. And that way I, I, I'm going to look at it and, and see if it's the way I want it. Just like that. Work that a little bit more. So you just kind of look at it and you want to keep the eye shape. And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take a little piece of clay from here and I'm just going to work that back into the eye like this. I'm going to take this little piece and just put it back in. It looks like I need a little bit more, so I'm going to take, just put a little bit more in the eye and we should be in good shape. It's taking kind of, see I'm just kind of pushing that in. And then what we want to do is take our, our sculpting tool and kind of push that in, just like that. I want to just kind of take and make sure that I did that right. And just do that. So what I'm going to do is I'll look at both eyes, make sure that they look all right. And you can kind of see, see how I put that back in there? And then what I'm going to do is I'll take this tool here, you'll use your toothpick, and I'm going to take and put that back into the eye like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, take and, and push the tool into the eye like that. 
And you can, you, can, you can rotate it around a little bit like this. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to rotate it a little bit, make it a little bigger. So now, isn't that pretty cool? You've done that with the, the eyes. And we'll make some eyebrows too. So what I'm going to do is take a little piece of clay like this. And we're going to do the additive technique again. And we're going to make some like little eyebrows. And we're going to make, I'm going to make two of these. See that little piece of clay there? We're going to make that, and we're going to take that, and we're going to place that right above here to kind of create that brow. And just kind of take that and work that in with your fingers now. It's a cool way to make the eye a little better. So then we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to take, and we're going to make, I'll show you, this is the little brow, about that size. And we're going to take that and put it over the eye again. So right here, you can see I'm, I'm just taking this and placing this right over the eye like that. Just like that. Just makes the eye look a little more pronounced. And we'll I'll just do it. And then what I'll do is I want to look and make sure that they're roughly balanced. See that? Really neat. So the next thing that we want to do is I want to work on doing the mane. We're going to take this clay here, and we're going to take pieces of clay like this. It's really cool. You'll take clay like this and just kind of work it, almost make it elongated like this. See this? Almost think of a, it's almost like the shape of a banana. And we're going to take this and we're going to add this to the side of, side of the head right here. See, I'm just kind of working, working that in now. Just like that. Just like that. Really cool. Just take and work that just like that. And then I'm going to take and add, take some more clay off here. And with the additive technique, we're going to add some clay down here. Just like that. You're just adding pieces of clay. And uh, we're going to proceed to add that all around the head. Now, let's see, all right, grab some more clay off there. You want to make that banana shape. Just like that. Just kind of make that banana-like type shape. Then we're gonna, I'm going to take and I'm going to place that on the other side here. Just, you take and just work that in, just like that. And you're going to go all the way around. And I want to take, just kind of push that in. See how I'm pushing that in? Just like that. And what I want to do is I'm going to look at this now and see if one side's bigger than the other. And it appears that one side is bigger than the other. So I'm going to take and we're going to add more clay up. I think I'm going to put some up the top. Additive technique. Just keep adding little pieces of clay like this. See how I'm adding that? Just like that. Pretty cool. And then I want to add a little more down the bottom. Right, I'm going to take this and I want to take and add that down here. See that? You almost want to have it like, almost like a little chin hanging down. So just kind of take and go like that. Just like that. Just work it like that. And now what I'm going to do is see how one, the one side appears to be a little bigger than the other. So what I'm going to do is try to maybe either squeeze this in or I could add more clay to this side. So I'm, I might just add more clay to the other side to make it a little better. This is the beauty of using this technique because I'm going to roll this in the table. See that? 
I'm going to show you how I just roll that. So now I can add it to this side here. And just add that piece of clay just like that. See, I'm adding it to make the, it equal to, to the other side. So I want to make sure, I'm going to look at that again. And I'm going to add a little more clay up here, I think, on this side here. Yeah, I just want to make sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our other sculpture and see if they're approximately similar. See how that? They do look very similar. The next thing I want to make on this line, too, is the ears. So I'm going to proceed to make some little ears. Take these, a clay here, and I'm going to make a couple of little ears, get some balls of clay, and then just make it approximate. You want to, um, you can kind of guess on the size. And when I'll, I'll show you the size balls that I'm thinking of right now. Because you can always take away or add more. But these size balls here, so what we're going to do is, for each one of these balls, I'm going to take and flatten these out a little bit, just like this. See, I'm making that nice and flat. And I want to kind of make it into, this is the shape that I want. That shape there. And then it will be kind of flat like that. And I'm going to proceed to put this down and I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to take this and just kind of squeeze that like that. Flatten it out on the bottom. And just do that. See, I'm just kind of squeezing that like that. And I'll make sure that they're approximately the same size. So when I pick these up, they are approximately the same size. What I'll proceed to do is I'm going to put this on the line now. So what I'm going to do is take this and place it approximately in this location. Put that there. And then what I'm going to do is take and put the other ear approximately here. If the proportion is a little off, don't worry. These are just some really good techniques to kind of get you acquainted with the clay and, and figure out how to make things. And, and um, the, the next thing that I want to do is we want to take some clay out of the ear. So what you can do is go like this. See this? Go, just go like this. Just like that. And just like that. And then I'm going to do the other same for the other side. Just like that. You know, it kind of gives it a little more realistic look when you do that. And then what we're going to proceed to do is I don't have my, a toothpick here, but I'll use my tool, but you can use a toothpick for this. What you want to do is start to make the fur. So for the mane, what I would do is kind of take this here. See that? You take long strokes like that to make the nice mane, just like that. You want to take and make some nice long strokes like that to do the mane on. And you do that down the bottom, just like that. Kind of take and work it like that. Gives it a really nice effect. And then what we're going to do up the top, what I would do is kind of take long strokes and kind of go like that. Just like that. See that? Make it nice and, and you know, just go like that. And then we'll, you do the same thing on this side here. You're going to go take nice long strokes over here. Just like that. So, see I'm taking the nice long strokes? And get just like that. Now, for the nose and the rest of the face, you want to take shorter strokes. So what I recommend doing is taking your toothpick now, and you're just going to take little strokes like this. You're going to kind of go like that. And you're going to go all around the face like that. Little, little, little strokes. You know, above the eyes, the snout. And uh, you do that all around the face. And I'll show you what it should look like. The, um, 
I'll show you the version that's, that I uh, made last night. You see how you got all the nice little short strokes? The same thing on this side. And then you can see how I made the nice long strokes for the main. And, you know, it has a really nice effect. And as you can see, I'm going to put these side by side. They're very, very close. See how th these beautiful techniques, you get a beautiful lion head and, you know, and then if you want, you can, um, what I would do is, if you, so you can lay it down, you probably want to tap it on the table like this a little bit. And just kind of work it back like that. So that, w that way it won't fall over. But it's a, it's a really nice, a nice animal to do and it's simple and very basic and I will show you how to paint that tonight. The colors that we need are, I'll show you the paints first. These can be bought in any art store and they're acrylic paints. You know, they're great because they wash off very easily after using them. I'll show you, we're going to use several colors. We're going to use pink for the mouth, mouth area and tongue. We're going to use white for the teeth, and we're going to touch up a little around the, uh, the jaw. We're going to use brown to give it a nice uh, color in the mane, and then we're going to use tan, and then we're going to use the color black. So I'll, I'll put these aside, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. The, oh, there's one other color I forgot to mention, yellow for the eyes. I just thought of it. The first thing we want to do is I'll show you what brushes we're going to use. Let's see. For the, the face, I think we'll use this bigger brush for the face in some of the, the, the broader areas that we need to cover. And then for the eyes, we'll probably use a size brush that's like this. And then for the, um, the, the teeth, we can use another brush or I could use the same one. So there's about three different brushes we're going to be using here. So I'll proceed to do the tan paint first and I will show you what we'll do. We're going to take this now and on this line here, we're going to take and you're going to go back and forth like this. Back and forth. Just back and forth, back and forth. And you're going to paint the mane also. So you're going to paint up here the ears. You're going to go back and forth, paint the mane. Back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Paint up here. Just kind of, you go all around like that. You're going to paint the snout area right here. That's going to be the nice, you can do that. Lower jaw. Just, just continue to proceed around the sculpture like that, back and forth, back and forth with this tan color. Just like that. Go like that. I'm going to do the other side also. I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. See how that's nice? Just do that. You're going to paint the whole, the whole face in that manner. I won't paint the entire thing, but I just want to show you enough that, so you know how to do it. The next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the, the pink mouth. So I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to take that and we're going to paint the pink mouth. So what we'll do, I'll flip this upside down. See that, that area there? We're going to paint in there. We're going to paint it pink. Just like that. And then we'll, we'll flip it upside down again. Or actually right side up. And we're going to do the tongue. It's just like that. I'm going to paint that whole area like that. The next thing we also want to paint too is the nose. See, see the nose here? We're going to paint that pink. Then they're going to paint that area there going down. 
just like that. It's really cool. Make sure we get that painted really good. And then the next thing that we want to do is I think we'll do the eyes. So what I'll proceed to do is clean up my brush a little bit. Get my trusty paper towel. I like that paper towels handy so I can uh, dry off the brushes. And we're going to take, and we'll do the yellow for the eye. So we're going to take this, the yellow color, and I'm going to take, and we're going to look at the lion, and we're going to paint the yellow color for the eyes right here. I'll, I'll hold that there so you can see it. And see, we're going to paint yellow right there. Just like that, and we'll do the other side the same way. And if you get a little paint on the rest of the line, don't worry about it. I just want to make sure that uh, looks like I had a little extra paint, so I just want to make sure that um, it looks all right. But you paint the eyes in that manner, the yellow. And then what we want to do is we want to paint, see the, the nice yellow color? We're going to take and paint black. So I'm going to take and wash this out a little bit. I'm going to take this. And we're going to do the black. So what we'll do, I'm going to pick the lion head up again. And we're going to take, and we're going to put that in, right into the, the eyeball like this. And we'll do the same for the other side, like this. So that's the way it will look. Now, I did get a little black on the yellow, but you can just touch up the yellow again. That's the, be the beauty of this. just want to make sure. I'll just try to touch it up a little bit. A lot of times you probably just want to wait for it to dry. See, I just kind of touched that up a little bit. And we'll try to do the same with the other one. But I, I would wait for the paint to actually dry because it, it'll probably turn out a little better. The next thing that we want to do is we want to paint the rest of the mane. So I'll take, we're going to use brown, the brown color for that. I'll show you how to make the little flicks of brown on the mane. So what we're going to do is you take this, and just ever so slightly, just kind of touch. You just do like little flicks of brown like this. See how I'm kind of just kind of flicking it a little bit? And that kind of gives it the nice, nice color for the mane. So I'll take and get a little more paint. Just kind of flick it. And we're going to do the same for the other side also. So we're going to do this over here, kind of just flick it. Just like that. It gives it a really nice effect when you do that. It gives it, you know, just kind of flick it a little bit like that. And we're going to do the same up here too. just like that. So it uh, has a really nice effect by doing that. And then what we also want to do is we're going to paint a little white and I'll show you we're going to do the teeth and there's a few areas around the face that we can touch up with the white. So we're going to get that. And we'll get the white. I'm going to proceed to do is I want to do the teeth. See the teeth here? I'm going to paint the teeth right here. Just do the white color. I'm going to do that. Just like that. And then 
There's a couple of other places I want to kind of touch up. Like kind of like here, we'll just touch a little bit of white. Just a little dab, a little white. Because lines have a little bit of white there. Just got a little bit of... And then we're going to dab a little down here at the bottom. Just like that. And I'll show you what the painted line should look like. I'll show you the finished version. We'll proceed to put this down. And I'll show you the painted line. This is what the line should look like when it's completely painted. See how the nice flicks of the brown in the mane? It has a really nice effect. Up the top, you see all around here. And then you see like the yellow for the eyes. You know, and then contrasted with the black. And then, you know, you see I put a little white here and the pink in the mouth, the pink for the nose. So it, it has a really, really nice effect. I'll kind of rotate it around so you can see what the line should look like. I didn't paint the back because you don't need to do that. You just want to do the front. And uh, that's what he should look like when he's done. And uh, I, I love lions because, you know, like they always say that the king of the beast and, you know, they're very royal looking animals. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. And thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I'll get back to my uh, sculpture. Thank you. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.